Hello, in this video we will be going through how to set up the AirPro APBT310 FM transmitter. First thing to do is put your car in accessory so that the 12 or 24 volt power will be available on your socket. Some cars may already have constant power running to the accessory socket without turning on the ignition. You can either mount the APBT310 on your dash using the provided adhesive mount or you can attach it to your vehicle's vent with the vent mount option. When you first plug in the APBT310 FM transmitter, it will display high, the current car battery voltage, BT mode, and the current FM frequency. To change the frequency on the FM transmitter, press and hold the track forward or back button, like so, until the current FM frequency begins to change. While the frequency is blinking, use the track forward and back buttons to adjust the value until we are happy with the currently selected frequency. It will automatically save and stop blinking after a couple of seconds. In this case, I have chosen 88.4. Pick a frequency that is not shared with other FM radio stations in your area. Next, let's make sure the FM radio is tuned to the right frequency on the car's head unit. Since I have chosen 88.4 on the FM transmitter, I will tune this radio to 88.4, making sure that I'm in FM mode. Next, let's pair with the AirPro APBT310 via Bluetooth using a smartphone. Navigate to the Bluetooth section, making sure your Bluetooth is on and not currently connected to another device. When it appears, we then choose APBT310. If all is connected correctly, you will hear a confirmation message coming through your car's speakers. But don't worry if you didn't hear anything just yet, the volume may be a bit low. To make sure that everything is working, play some music on your phone, making sure that the volume is turned up on your phone, then adjust the volume of the head unit until you're able to hear the music playing through the car's audio system. If you're having trouble connecting to the FM transmitter, it is recommended to unpair your device, restart your phone, and try this process again. Now would be a good time to test out hands-free calling to make sure the volumes are at a good listening level for both calls and music. When getting a call, you simply press the multi-function button to answer. You can reject the call with a long press and can redial the last caller by double-clicking the button. Just bear in mind that you need to be on the same frequency as the FM transmitter, as it won't automatically switch when you get a phone call. The APBT310 also supports your smartphone's voice assistant. To activate your smartphone's voice assistant, simply hold down the central button for a few seconds. The APBT310 supports Bluetooth, auxiliary in, and micro SD card music playback. You can switch between Bluetooth, auxiliary in, and micro SD card when installed by long pressing the mode button. While music is playing, you can play or pause, skip a song, or go back, by using the buttons on the APBT310. The LED lit colored ring around the multi-function button can be changed to various colors. Simply press the mode button to cycle through the different colors. This Bluetooth FM transmitter allows you to charge up to two devices simultaneously using a quick charge 3.0 USB port and a USB port capable of five volts at 2.4 amps. That concludes the how-to video for the AirPro APBT310 FM transmitter. If you would like to learn more about this product or any other AirPro products, please visit our website, airpro.com.